Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. If you missed the last episode, we are playing Mass Effect. We are John Shepard, and we were on Eden Prime to grab a beacon, which went awry. Um, and a spectre named Seren seems to be a traitor. If I seems to be, pretty sure he is a traitor. So, oh, I saw that. Replenish Medigel. Ah, nice. Okay. So, we... Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out... And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. There you go. We'll be nice to her. She seems useful. I like Ashley so far. Who are you? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Thank you. Yes, Commander? Is oh. there something you need? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. He was an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Yeah, lucky. Okay. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. I mean, clearly. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I mean, okay, that makes sense. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Oh. Nice, okay. We're finding loot everywhere. I love how you can explore the ship. Excellent stuff, okay. Oh, that got a bit janky. What is up here? We are going to do more than just explore the ship today, I promise. Oh, we could just take in the elevator. Okay, cool. Who are all these people? More codex and XP, okay. What is in here? A stairwell, okay. So we'll have to go back that way, so let's go this way first. Oh, just more things to examine, okay. More Codex and XP, we'll take that. And let's go running. Go on, run, 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 run. You can't, you're out of breath, okay. As you do. Is it through here? Good Joker. timing, Commander. Yeah. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Fantastic. Look 
look how pretty it is. So good, the graphics. So, so good. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, <laughs> Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. I love how the only thing the subtitles monster. was Its main that. gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted, you may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Okay, here we go. Wonder what SR1 stands for. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems. Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Well, Captain then. Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. They can Shepard, certainly try. You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Oh, thanks. And that's why I hate politicians. Oh, look, we got some renegade skills as well. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got so much to explore. Where are we? I don't know. Where are we? Is that us? No. Is that us? No. We'll figure it out, whatever. Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the set of that tower. Okay, that makes sense. Easy decryption though. What does that give us? Uh, Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrick reports some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rio cluster. She had particular concerns about the hydro system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for the sector. Do you want to send in the recon team? I mean, that sounds like a side mission. And I am okay with that. Now where do we go? I mean, this isn't the right way, but... Let's have a little explore the Citadel. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. <laughs> and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, 
She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Fantastic. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Well, I guess we're gonna go and help this dude out. I'll talk to him as well. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising <laughs> remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? It's interesting how no one seems to like the humans. Very interesting. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. So I'd rude. like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Hell no. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Interesting. Okay. Um... No, I didn't Actually, I would like to know shit. more. However, despite our long association with the Citadel yeah. and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Interesting. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. <laughs> Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. He yes, hates us. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. But we got XP for talking to him, which is nice. So let's go and tackle this down here. God, there are things everywhere. Can't go that way. Oh, put that way, please. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that's going to explode any second. Okay. Yeah. How do I put my weapons up? Oh, my God, I've done it again. Please put your weapons away. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Yep. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Oh, we're a notable person. How nice. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Oh, What's cool. your name? What do you do here? 
My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I mean, fair. Uh, yeah, I should fine. be going now. Have a pleasant day. More Welcome XP. Fuck yes. Allow me to be your guide. Who are you? Right, so that be that thing. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is really, really cool. Okay. What do we have up here? Let's have a little bit of an explore still. Open up. Okay, what's here? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I bet. More XP. You can't talk. You're fixing something. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Oh, well, at least he's nice to us. That's a positive. No XP to be gained from there. What is up here? God, there are doorways everywhere. Let's go here first. They don't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. They have nothing important to say. I believe the rumors. The this place seems strange. Like, what do you want? Oh, here we go. Commander, is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Imagine being called Kit. <laughs> I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Wow. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Jesus. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Fantastic. Goodbye. We need to find the Shiari. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Because she sounds like she's going to be a lot of hard work. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Let's go this way. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Nice. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? Mm. They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. It's interesting. What do you have against the Spectre? 
I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 yeah, CSEC agents. Hey. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Okay, so he's basically galactic police for this area, which is fine. It's interesting how they literally hate humans. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Well, that's I'll be useful. going there. Goodbye, Commander. You really aren't helpful. I saw something I could hack somewhere. It said easy... Yeah, here we go. Easy decryption. So let's open this. Nice. What we got? A diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the X threat. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow Bionic, you've been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, if you tolerate us, we must stand together. We must build our new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. So that is another side quest. I cannot wait to smash through some of these. Right. Let's actually continue. Down here. I think we're getting in our little uh, galactic space taxi. I can't tell. Sure. Ursit uh, Lattels. Okay. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Oh. Commander no, Shepard, Garrus, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I doubt it. I'm human, after all. And they seem to hate us. Right. Let's get these calf muscles working again. It's amazing how pretty this is. I also feel like it's very true to the fact, like, if this was a real thing, I'm pretty sure us humans would be the least favoured. We probably would be the most power hungry. So I can understand this from a writing standpoint, I quite like that. There's a door light here that opens, is that the right way? I can hear him, and it's not even open, it's just me being colourblind. I'm not even colourblind. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything over here, so I guess we're just going up. Oh, here you are. The hearing's already started. Come on. Yeah, I'm on my way. Relax. I love our little butt gun. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. 
An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Man. We... I just want to kill him. So bad. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> the Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. I can't this wait meeting to is adjourned. Wrong. We're just gonna so prove them wrong and I can't wait. And then we're gonna put a galactic bullet in his head. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care Fantastic. of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Well, okay then, Harkin's people. probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Interesting. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. <gasps> Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The Embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Right. 
The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation, but sometimes more extreme measures are needed. So is this... are we like Galactic James Bond? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. Interesting. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that he is not a good guy. So... Yeah, we're just gonna kill him. Can't wait. That isn't a thing. I was like, is that a thing? But it's not. Um, so I guess we're going back to our little galactic taxi service. And then we need to go to... Um, Cora's Den. Should we go to the wards? There you go. Oh, it's the Gentleman's Club in the wards. Fantastic. Just what I was hoping for. <laughs> what do we have back here? Oh, is this the den? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Oh, please. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Okay, view non-human armors, view standard items, yeah. What do we have? Oh, it's an assault rifle. We can't afford it. Um, What is this? Okay, what is that? Oh, it's a sniper rifle, okay. Um, Now I've got the pistol. Guardian 2, I mean we can't afford anything. Okay. We don't need that. I'm going to sell all these uh, things that we don't need. So we don't need... Oh. Turian light armor. Okay. So we're going to get rid of all this. We'll keep the silver back for now. That can go. That can go. We'll keep the weapon upgrades. Um, Storm 1 can go. Yeah, so basically these can just go. Uh, we'll keep one Banshee, we don't need two. That can go. Sniper Rifle, that can go. Okay, well at least we got some coins. I will take that for now. Is there anyone else in here? There is not. Nothing more useful, no. Okay. 
right. Open sesame. Thank you. That's him. Who's shooting at me? Why are you shooting? What the hell? Yeah, why are you now shooting? I don't understand. Fun. Oh. Nice. Oh, I did get him. All targets down. I can't even pull that shot off. That didn't mean to do that. Well, we did well. I don't know how we did that, but we did. Can I put my gun away, please? This doesn't exactly look good. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. This place is so popular. It's got quite the uh, view. Yes, it does. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? <laughs> it makes someone. Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I agree. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Wait, he screwed what? up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Man, this dude's a bit of an asshole. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? Done this one. I, I spent the wrong 20 option. years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this yeah, station... Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Well, okay then. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. Nice. I can appreciate that. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why'd you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <laughs> What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Interesting. You got off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for CSEC isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. 
Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. Sure, whatever you say. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Well, you are a bit of an asshole, aren't you? Right. Go away. Oh, okay. I just never thought they were looking at. <laughs> I got business here, but not with you. Don't tell me we can. Oh my god, we can. Let's relax. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> so weird. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting that. What the hell? Okay. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a spectre? Maybe it's not true. Parkinson's that was not what I was expecting. But it is what it is, I guess. What do we have up here? Oh yeah, what do we have up here? Um it's very eerily quiet, minus that one dude there. So what's in here? They can't talk, okay. Oh. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What sure. do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Why would we do that? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Right. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Fantastic. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Okay. Uh, Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I hope not. I probably will. Right. I don't even know if we're going the right way. What do we have over here? Oh. I see a little exclamation mark, though, which means we've got something. Yeah, they'll sank through here, but what is it? The CSEC Academy, okay. Why does it want us to go In this light way? of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization. Yeah, we'll skip it. Nice. Is that my boy Garrus? No. Well, I got my hopes up. Oh god, they were... Uh, why do they all have to wear blue? Where the hell am I going? Let's try this way. There's a little green X down there, so... Aha, uh -huh, who are you? One sec, looking you up. You don't know who I am? Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Uh, sure. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. We can't afford anything, can we? 
Oh, what's this? Sure. I hope that's handy. Right, where are we gonna go? I guess we go back in here. To the docking bay? No, I don't wanna go to the docking bay. I want to find where the hell I'm going. Put your gun away. Oh my god. At least I know which button it is now. Um map. Seasec Academy. Nope. Recreations office, that's not what I need. Where the shit do I go? I am lost. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> Great little friendship. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. All right. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. We can do that. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Uh, sure. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shouldn't. Well, good luck. Thanks, babe. Right. I don't know where the hell I'm going. We are lost as shit. That's not what I needed, but we'll take the XP. We'll take this as well. Oh yeah, we'll take all the XP. But where do I go? Oh, got more stuff. How much stuff can we examine? Okay. Does that open? No. Right. How did we manage to get lost already? The map is so unhelpful, unless I just can't read it properly, which is also very possible. I need to find my little galactic taxi again. I need to know where that went. Let's try this elevator, see what this does. To the A Solarian yeah, excavation fancy. team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The ex We'll skip that. As much as I'd love to listen to it, I don't think you guys will. Right, this looks more promising. Oh, put your bloody gun away. All patched right, heal up as well. Cool. Map. Oh, how do I... Right. Consortium office. Can I fast travel? No. Where do I go? I am so confused. What's my journal say? He's in the CSEC offices. Oh, that's where I was. Oh, that's for a side quest. Here we go. Um, exposed here and yet. Go to the med clinic. Okay, so where's the med clinic? Let's try and figure that out. Ambassador, we got. The offices, We've got stuff over there. We've got the bank, the Emporium, the Consortium Chambers. So that's the bloody med thing. This doesn't help me at all. Let's see if we can figure it out. If we use the quick travel. That's not a quick travel. Never mind. 
Oh, it's going to take me forever. Right, so that's to the CSEC. How are we so lost? I don't understand. Oh, we've got a little thing here. Oh, it's to talk to this thing. Allow okay, let's talk to you. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Thank you. Are you a virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Uh, yeah. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Awesome. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank Doesn't you for anything. using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I am trying. Right. Uh, wards. What's in the ward? CSEC med. There we go. Hallelujah. Okay. So, that's not openable. Oh, we can observe something. What can we observe? Nice. Oh, I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. Fuck yeah, Garrus. Engaging target. Okay. Come on, get down there. Now I'm ready. Let's just punch him. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's up again. Area secured. Let's grab this. What is that? Oh. oh that's I what it does. Good, Commander. How do I replenish my medigel? Medigel deployed. Here. Let's grab this quick, and then we'll continue. Cool. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. I try. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. You are welcome. Um, who are those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. I will take your word for it. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Okay, so this is now the second time we've heard about the Shadow Broker. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. I mean, I guess so. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be okay. able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. I agree. Um, yeah, we have to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Uh, why'd you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? 
I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Yeah, I mean... Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we, could... we saw him in the bar. Yes, we did. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh. Okay, yes, we will take Garrus, because I love Garrus. I'm going to take Ashley. You can have three, sorry, two companions, can't you? Cool, this will do. Look at these. Put your bloody guns away. Right, let's level up very quickly. Got six points. Put one into soldier. Still can't do anything into that. Um, assault rifles not going to worry about. We're going to uh, we'll do this. We're going to try and keep everything balanced, I think. I think that's our best bet. Um, increased weapon damage. Yeah. There you go. So that will be us. Um, we'll do Ashley. So she's still going to be our tank. Yeah. Or first aid. Okay. We'll take that. I'm not really worried about her dealing damage. I just need her health at, like, max. Garrus. He is... Looks like a normal soldier as well. Um... Oh, tactical armor. Able to equip light armor. Increases damage protection. Turian agent. Even an uh, assault and a sniper training. Okay. So. We're going to just... Yeah. And then we can max up his... He's going to be like our DPS guy in a way. I think that's our best bet. So we're going to have Garrus as our DPS. We've got Ashley as our tank. And then we'll be sort of like an all-rounder. I think that's the set we're going to go for. Okay, but I think we will end this episode here. So if you've enjoyed, please drop the video a like, guys. It helps amazingly. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, if you're new and you're not subscribed and you'd like to, that would also be amazing. And hopefully I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.